HS codes are needed to ship internationally, so here's how to add them to your product pages. From the home screen, we're gonna click into products on the left-hand side, there's a third option down. I'm just gonna click into the newest listing that I've made, and then scroll down until you see in this shipping section, you will see add customs information. So click that, and then here you can put the country or region of origin. And then here it is saying in most cases where the product was manufactured or assembled. So a lot of your product should say on there, you know, made in, and then it should say a country. For the harmonized system, the HS code, and here you can search some keywords and it'll pop up with some options. So let's say you search shirt, it will pop up with a few options. You can scroll through and pick the one that best fits. Let's just say I picked the women's or girls' blouses, shirts, and shirt blouses of silk or silk waist. So then it will put that number in there, whatever you select. And I'm going to click this link just to show a little more of what Shopify talks about the HS codes in your help center. So it's saying if you ship internationally, then each of your products must include an HS code. This HS code will go on the shipping labels and that you, you need it on there. So an HS code is an international trade code, usually six digits long, that's used to describe what a product is. And then putting this HS code on there helps to avoid non-compliance penalties, border delays, seizure of the products, or denial of import. You know, you don't want to pay $20 to ship something overseas and then it just gets denied because you didn't put the HS code on there or the correct HS code. And then this is saying you can add the HS codes during the time when you're printing the label. So let's say you know that you very rarely will get international orders. You don't necessarily have to put this on every product page. You could just deal with this once you have an order and do it at the time of buying the shipping label. And other shipping programs such as Pirate Ship, I know for a fact Pirate Ship will let you put it in. Let's say I was making a label and I was going to Taiwan. I just put that as just a random country. If you go down, it will have you fill out the customs information. So you have to put what you're shipping, how many of them, what is the dollar amount in US dollars, and then you have to put the weight in, and then here's where you would put that HS code. Now on here, when you are searching it, it will pop up this United States Census Bureau page. This one I find is quite helpful because if, let's say you put in shirt and you hit classify and it will come up, come up with other options. So knitted or crocheted, if it's not, you can hit other. And then it gives you more options, boys or men's, babies, other, what percentage of material is it? So it just kind of helps because you can go and click through these different options. I'm not sure, in this case, you might just search a different way to try to get women's shirts to pop up. But just on your Shopify listing, let's say you're really struggling to find the correct code here with how they're letting you search. Maybe you want to go to the Census Bureau page and I'll link that in the description. That way you can check out this one if you need to. If you have your HS codes on your Shopify listing, these will automatically go onto the shipping labels that you purchase from Shopify. Now I haven't found a way to get these to automatically go into pirate ship labels that I've purchased. I'm not sure about other shipping programs or apps if it will automatically go in there. The issue I was having a lot with Shopify, and I don't know if they fixed this, is that they only used to put so many products on one shipping label. So I, let's say it was 15. Oftentimes I had people ordering 40 things of floss, so I had a lot of individual items, and Shopify was cutting it off where they weren't all on that label. I didn't want to run into issues with my packages making it into other countries, so I often just went into pirate ship and typed out a lot of the information. I did often fill out this HS code still on the listings because it's nice to be able to reference the listing, just easily click it. No, I already did the research. I can just copy and paste it and now I'm good to go. Just make sure if you enter anything in here, you want to save, make sure you hit save. And I'm going to show quick how you can bulk add these. So let's say I go back into just the products page and I select, these are all the same type of product. I can hit the bulk edit down here and then in this column section, I can click to add the harmonized system code. So you'll check mark that and it'll pop up. Uh, let's say, I'm just gonna pick a random six digit number. And then you could copy this and paste in each, each one of these. 
and then you could save and it would save all those at once. That way you don't have to be clicking into each individual listing to get that added. And make sure again, if you add it and you want it saved, make sure you hit that save button. So that's all I have for this video. I'll have other videos going over other parts of the product pages.